In this video, I'm going to take you step by step to transfer everything from your existing phone to your new Samsung Galaxy S10. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. Now there are a lot of details. I do suggest watching this full video before you get started on your own device. So first here I have the Samsung Galaxy S8. Make sure that you have the battery fully charged. And then here we're gonna take the Galaxy S10 out of the box. Now um, this is a little notice that says that there is actually a screen protector already installed. So it is prone to scratches pretty easy but that is installed and also in the box, you do have a power brick. So this is a fast charge power brick. You have this little USB-C to full USB connector. This will help you transfer all of your content. And then in here you do have a USB-C charging cable. So this is the latest standard of charging cables. And so it has one of those included. And then here you have a set of AKG earbuds um, they sound really good from the previous Samsung devices, so we'll see how these sound, but those are all included in the box. So now we can move most of this aside, but we will keep the USB connector as well as the USB-C charging cable. Now there is one more thing that we need and that is inside the box, so it's actually hidden up here. So you may need to shake it quite a bit until you can get the paperwork out. There we go. All right. Got it out. So here we have the SIM ejector. So is what you are going to do with this is you're going to place this in the SIM card on the existing device. And here we are going to pull out the micro SD card. So here I have a 64 gig micro SD card. Now, depending on which carrier you have and which phone you get where you buy the phone, you may need to transfer over the SIM. So typically, if you're on T-Mobile or AT&T or Verizon, you would do that. Here, I have a Sprint device. So there should be a SIM already in here. So I'm going to be using this SIM to activate the new phone. I'm going to place my SD card in here, just like that, and then place it into the new phone. Now you just need to make sure that they're kind of sitting in there a little tight and then you just slide it in. Just like that. So that is what you will use the SIM card for and now we are going to turn on the device. Now it is recommended to get this fully activated when you set it up or before you start to transfer all your info, just to make sure that the phone is working properly before you send everything over there. Let, let's get started. Let me help you get set up more easily by guiding you through the steps. So when you first turn it on, Bixby is gonna try and walk you through. You just press this little speaker up here at the top to mute Bixby. So now the first time you go through this, it's pretty self-explanatory. For the most part, they've done this in the store, um, but I'm gonna show you a few things that you may need to know um, if you missed it when you first set it up. So you're just going to agree to the terms. Here we're going to connect to our Wi-Fi network. All right, it is connected to Wi-Fi. Now it is asking me to activate my device and it's gonna try and go through this process. So it took me a few minutes, but the phone is stating it's now active. So now it's asking if you want to bring your old information from your old phone to the new phone, and we're gonna do that in just a minute. But for now, I'm actually gonna skip this because most likely you are already at the home page of your device. So here we're gonna select next, and then it's gonna ask us to sign into our Gmail account. So I usually back up uh, most of my pictures and my contacts all through Gmail. But I'm gonna skip this right now so I can show you everything that will transfer just through Smart Switch. So here you do have the option to set up a different form of security. So at the top here, you do have the face recognition capability. So it's going to be able to uh, take a picture and unlock it with your face. You do have the fingerprint now. So on the S10 and the S10 Plus, you have the fingerprint in the screen. The S10e will be on the power button. Then here you have the pattern and then you have the pin password, and right now I'm gonna select not now. And then here you have an option to download some specific applications, uh, but we're gonna skip that. And then we are also going to skip signing into a Samsung account. I do recommend doing that as it will allow you to back up a lot of your phone. Um, here are the different things that you can do with it. Set up Samsung Pay, Samsung Cloud, uh, Samsung Pass. So um, make sure you do that because you can also remotely lock and unlock your phone. And now we can select finish where it will take us to the home screen. 
I now have the Galaxy S10 at the main page and I'm ready to transfer everything from my old phone to the new phone. So the first thing that I'm going to do is get a USB-C cable or a micro USB or the cable for the iPhone, depending on what phone you're using. But here I have the Samsung Galaxy S8, which uses USB-C. So I'm just gonna plug this in. If you're using an S9, an S9 Plus, a Note, you'd be able to use this. Or if you're using an S7, an S6, just make sure that you get the micro USB cable that comes in the box of your existing device. Then we're gonna take this end of the USB and plug it into the USB connector. So make sure that you plug that in all the way right there. And then we're going to plug that into the new Galaxy S10. So once we do that, at the bottom here, you will see a notification. If you don't see it, unplug it, plug it back in, and then here you'll see this pop up and choose an app to which it's going to action. So we're gonna choose Smart Switch right here because that is the app that will transfer everything from the old phone to the new phone. So here it's asking if you want to send data or receive data. So I'm gonna select on receive data. And then over here on the old phone, it's going to send a notification to ask if I allow for it to be connected to the new phone. Now it's going to scan through and find all the different content that it can transfer over. This should just take a minute and then it's going to let us choose what we actually transfer over. All right, so it is already done here. It says that it found 12.52 gig of data and it's gonna take about 43 minutes to complete the full transfer. Now here are the different things that can transfer. Call and contacts, messages, the application. So this is just the app, not the actual app data. So if you have like games and things, you will need to go into that actual app to back up that information. Here we have settings, home screen settings, images, videos, audio, and documents. Now, if any of this information you don't want, if you unselect it right here, it will then make the transfer go faster. So there you saw it went down to 16 minutes, but I want to transfer all the apps. I could actually select apps and it will take me into the settings here and I can choose apps that I want to turn off um, so that they aren't transferred over, um, but then I would just select done and there you can do that with all the same things. So if you go into the audio, you don't wanna transfer all that or your videos, you can choose that before you start the transfer. So here it says find out what we can't bring. So some of the things that it can't bring over are calls and contacts that are read only, some messages like emergency alerts and RCS attachments, some of the information from apps like calendar events that are synced through maybe your Google account, apps that can't be transferred due to security compatibility. So like some of the Samsung Pay information, SideSync, Movie Maker, Calculator, Galaxy Wearable, and then some of the home screen. So default wallpaper, theme store wallpapers. So that stuff for some reason won't be transferred over. So now I'm ready to start the transfer. I just need to select transfer and then it will give us this nice little pop-up that is telling us how long it's gonna take and what percent that it currently is at. So in just a few minutes, it will say that we can actually unplug the cable. That means that it has transferred everything to the new phone. It just needs to then put it all in the right place. So we'll just give this a few minutes and I'll be right back. Now, while it is getting set up, you could continue to use your phone and let this go in the background, but just to make the phone run a little bit faster, just wait until this is complete. Now it will continue to time out, so the screen will go black while this is going on, and it can do that. There's no problem with it going black, um, but you just can't see how long it's taking. It will vibrate once it's complete. But if you want to keep the screen on so you can see how long it is taking, you do now have an option to do that right there. And then here in the middle, we can see that it is currently backing up apps and data and app data. So like I mentioned before, some apps will back up. So if you sign into that app, most likely it is being backed up. But if you have certain games or maybe a different application that never required an account, it may not back up that information. So you might need to double check some of your applications to make sure that info transferred over to the new device once the transfer is complete. During the process, you will see what it is currently working on here in the middle of the device. So it has now copied everything from the existing phone to the new phone and now it says that I can disconnect the USB cable. So everything is still on this old phone. So if I need anything from this old phone right now, I can still access it, no problem. If you are turning this phone in or trading it in or selling it to somebody, 
make sure that you go into the settings and do a factory reset, but that will wipe all the data on this phone. So now we're gonna move this phone to the side until everything gets transferred. And so now it is actually moving everything and putting it in the proper place so that everything is pretty much the exact same as it was on your existing device. So once you hear that notification, that means that everything is complete. So here it is giving you a page of everything that it copied over. So if you tap on it, it's gonna take you right into the settings there and you can see all that information. So there we saw the contacts, here we have the call log. So we have all that information. Here we have text messages. So I was able to transfer all of those over. Here we have the different apps. So it's gonna show you that app selection. Here we have the different settings, so it's gonna take you right into the settings. Here we have the home screen, so this is just like the main page, I'll show you that in a second. Here we have all the images, so it can take us to the gallery. So here we have the videos, again, that will take me right into the gallery. We have one song, um, so it's gonna open Google Play Music to play that. And then we have documents that had been downloaded previously. So if we go back, there was one notice here that says two apps could not be copied. So one is Movie Maker and one is SideSync. Now these are two applications that Samsung has actually removed and is no longer supporting, so they weren't able to be transferred over. So now that the transfer is complete, and we are going to select Done, and now here we are on our home page. So let me just show you um, exactly what the existing phone looked like as well, so you can see how much it actually transferred over. So if we go to the home screen, you can see that it transferred the wallpaper and everything from the existing phone to the new phone, my widgets and everything. All I need to do is select right here so that it can get the permissions to use my location to find the weather. So that's the only thing I needed to do. And now that home screen is fully set up. So the only thing that I'm noticing right now is down here in the apps, we have the secure folder that is not there. Now that's because I need to go in and set it up on the new phone. Um, I have made a video all about how to do that if you are interested. Um, and then if we go to the second page here, it has our calendar. Now I haven't synced the Google Calendar to the new phone yet, so that isn't appearing. So now I need to go into my Gmail account to set that up. So the best way to do that is to go into the Play Store and it will ask for you to sign into that account. Now you do need to sign into a Google account if you want to download any applications. So make sure that you do that um, here when we type in the account that we want. So now I've signed into the account, I just need to select yes I'm in. Here it's going to ask us to agree to some terms and then it's going to be transferring and downloading any other information that I had stored, like my Google Photos or any other information there. So now that I've done that, it will take just a minute, but we'll start to see some events appear here. So now the last step is to go in and sign into all of our accounts. So just like the Gmail account that isn't able to be transferred over to the new device, you actually need to go into each application and make sure you sign into that account. So here we're gonna go into Netflix and I would need to sign in. I could use what's called Samsung Pass where you can actually back up every account and password that you add into the new phone. So that is recommended. I'll leave a link to the video uh, how to do that at the end of this. But other than that, you would just need to go through and add in all your accounts so that you have your apps and notifications all showing up again. Now that I'm signed in, I can use the app just like I was using it before. And that is how you transfer everything from your existing phone to your new Galaxy S10. If you have any further questions about how this works, please let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to see how to set up Samsung Pass to back up your passwords and accounts, click the video over here and see my full Galaxy S10 playlist down here on the side. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.